Hello everybody, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some RimWorld, shall we? Alright, well, looks like the learning helper is on and says outfits. Colonists will automatically try to wear the newest, highest quality apparel they can. Fashionistas. You don't need to manually assign each piece of apparel to colonists, though you can if you wish. If I want to give them coordinated, like, Vault 47 outfits. To assign colonists restrictions on how to dress, open the Assign tab, use the Manage Outfits dialog box to assign, uh, design a new outfit, and then assign them to the colonists. Interesting, okay? Fire preparation. Fire can easily burn down a colony, indeed. To defeat them, you must prepare before they happen. Um, okay. These design elements can help reduce the damage from fire. Instead of constructing one super building, which I'm doing, build separate buildings with spaces in between. Okay, I should do that. Use less flammable materials. Wood is cheap and fast, but very flammable indeed. Build fire breaks to stop wildfires approaching your base. Oh. A strip of concrete floor three or four cells wide will generally stop an advancing fire. Interesting. All right, I'm not doing a good job there. Uh, history tab. You can see a record of your colony's fortunes over time in the history tab at the bottom of the screen. Oh, let's go see that. Um, wealth. Oh, I'm looking really good. Oh, you can get, like see your highlights. Uh, that's kind of fun. Major threats to enemy raids. Three. Damage taken. 272. I like how it goes out to four decimal places on uh, damage taken. Touche. Alright. Um, now. Weaves is back and researching. Uh, what is everybody else doing? Emmy is uh, carrying a simple meal. And Eugene is hauling wood to the stockpile. Okay, I think this is good. Now, I am going to start doing some uh, makes, making some changes, okay, I should say. And the changes, uh, first of all, Weaves, let me look at your, let's look at your work, Weaves. Um, research is two, but, gr okay, good, growing is still one. And plant cutting is still one. Okay, fantastic. I've got these electric lights. I can probably just remove this torch. Um, you know, now that we've got these uh, lights in there. Let's get those out. And I'm going to... Uh, I, I think keeping a hospital is okay and a prison cell is okay. Um, but I'm going to start making these people some better bedrooms. Now, I know it said be to avoid a super building, and I get that, uh, but it would be nice to just have one air conditioner, you know, that worked for everything, but I don't know how, um, how much, like, capacity one cooler has, how, how far the range is, how many rooms um, or square footage can I expect to be treated by just one air conditioner. Um, anyway, that's something to think about. But, in the meantime, I've got a, like a butcher's area, right, and a, what they're calling a kitchen, I suppose. Okay. And what I want to do we need to feed these animals because they're going to starve to death. Uh, but we need to get ourselves ready. I'm not really happy with certain elements of uh, what we've got. Defensively, we're questionable. But I think if I... Let's just take a look at somebody. And he's actually doing really well. He's high on smoke leaf. I'm like stoned, man. Oh, so somebody who came in that we killed must have had some smoke leaf. I don't know where he got that, but he's doing drugs. 
Um, and that is... I don't know what to say. His recreation is satisfied, so he's thrilled about that. Um, he has passion for his work. He feels that this room is spacious. Um, he's... this. Even though he just survived, uh, you know, nearly dying, he's actually probably the happiest person we've got. Look how high his mood is. It's ridiculous. It's fantastic. Um, so it's only 54 right now, but I think this white arrow means, like, how far up it's going to trend. Now, it does say he slept in the heat, so I don't know when the air conditioning is going to work out, um, but it's not. Maybe the torch is making it too hot in here, or maybe opening this door. Now, this is, should be cooled. Uh, let's see. I don't know. Um, let me check this room. It says that it's uh, 83 degrees in here, and it's 70 in here. So this air conditioner is not really... I thought the vent would spread it, but it's not really getting into this room. So maybe I need to build another air conditioner um, to help out, because it's not it's not getting the job done. We'll find out about that. Um, okay, in the meantime, architect, um, structure, and I think I'm ready to build, uh, some bedrooms, bigger rooms. And I'm going to build it in a separate structure. So, where do I want it? I think over here looks good. So, I'm going to build it like a little bit away so that hopefully the fire um, doesn't spread. Oh, you know what, though? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to build it over here. Um, and... Like this. Okay. And then, let's just see if I build a room like so. That is one, two, three, four, five by five. If this is spacious enough for people. I'm going to try an experimental bedroom. And see if I can get something that people feel... Um, is good. I'm gonna put a, uh, how much steel do I have? I'm actually running lower on steel. I somehow have a ton of silver, which is funny, but let's go ahead and make a wooden door. Okay. And then we're gonna need a bunch of trees for that, so we need these plants to be cut down. Now, my man Weaves should be moving to tree cutting if I unpause the game because his priority is set higher on cutting down trees, I think. But I don't know why he um, is not doing that. Let's find out. Weaves plant cut one. Top priority. But maybe he considers... He doesn't consider this uh, bed rest, does he? I don't know. He's just doing this research. Okay. Eugene is working. And looks like our power is uh, not doing great. Or this maybe this yellow line indicates like how much I have left. That my base currently is using a ton of power. Almost everything for this air conditioner. Um... And it's not really cooling down. Like, this room is super cool. But this room is not getting very cool at all. This is not cool. Not cool. And then... Hot. Okay. Oh, now Weaves is cutting down some trees. Alright. So I'm going to speed it up. Eugene is sleeping in this room. He's like, this is my space. Oh my god, what is this? Oh, it's the slavers. Okay, so they're just passing through. Um, can I buy? Maybe I can buy, like, someone from them. 
um, trade with this guy. Let's go do that. Okay. I want to buy people. How much money do I have? Um, this guy's 83 years old. And this woman is 72. And you want me to recruit them. I mean, these, these are the geriatric slavers. This is what I've found. The geriatrics. I don't think this is what I was going for, but it's hilarious. Um, I was hoping for some, you know, young bucks. You want $2,000 for a 72-year-old man. Um, I don't think that that's good. Now, let me see if I can figure out how much money... Is this how much money I have? No, that's how much they have. Um, now, um, I only have, I think I only have 871 silver, if that's what we're talking about. Um, but I can sell them, oh, this is my stuff here. So I have nowhere near enough money. And they're not willing to buy very much of my stuff. They're willing to buy some of my smoke leaf joints, kindly. Um, they will buy components. Like, I could trade components to try to get a 72-year-old man slave, uh, and it's like I would get the joy of buying someone out of slavery, and that would be good. But I don't know if they come into your colony, like, in the capacity of a slave, or if it, they're just, like, friends. When you they arrive, there's that. But this person is also going to die pretty soon, right? I mean, I don't know. Um... I don't really want a grizzly bear. At all. I guess that's... Maybe the grizzly bears are like their defense. I don't know. Um, okay. So, never mind then. That didn't go well. I'm gonna just, uh... I hope Emmy went back to sleep. Yeah, she did. We're just gonna let them pass. They're hanging out here at my area. Whatever. Um, it's nighttime. I don't know what they're up to. Maybe they're just like eating and then they're going to move on. But we're done trading with you. It, your, your supply is uninteresting. You're asking a little bit too much for old people. Who I don't know what they're capable of doing. But... Now, I wonder why we never finished this. Just because we don't have wood? Well, interesting. Um, what we need is... No, look, she's working on this. Is it because this is in the way? Like, can... Um, after Eugene wakes up, I'm going to have him haul that away and see if somebody can finish this. They're just freely coming into my area, by the way. Um, Eugene, where are you at, dude? You are harvesting a poplar tree. Can you... Um, prioritize delivering to Wooden Wall? I want somebody to finish this. Okay, good. And then Emmy, can you actually... Um, prioritize finishing that. There we go. Okay, now it's a room. It's a party. We did it. And this is um, Eugene's bedroom. And we're going to actually change this into uh, not be for prisoners. And we're going to uh, set an owner of Emmy. And then... Good. Now she has her own room. Okay. 
Uh, now she's working on this room and doing a good job. Eugene, what are you up to, dude? You're hauling slate chunks. Okay, hauling chunks is good. Uh, I'm going to uh, go back here and I'm going to just say... Um, let me see. I wonder what the, the key command is for just like... Orders. How do I get to that? Let me look at the uh, options, keyboard configuration. Um, <laughs> architecture. Tab. Just brings that up. Okay, let me try this. If I push tab... And then I just push, like, you know, chop wood B. Yeah, I need a bunch of lumber. And so all of this wood. Just all of it. Do that. And then, good. Then what we're going to do is go to uh, floors. And I'm fine putting in um, wooden floors. Here. Like that. Okay, and then um, we're going to go to power, and we're going to just build a conduit that kind of goes here, here, to here, and then I would like to build um, a standing lamp there, okay, and then we can build... Uh, a wooden bed and I've rotated the bed properly for those concerned actually you know what I'm gonna do um, no that's fine and then we're gonna build go back to uh, orders and we're gonna build a uh, this will not affect room beauty that kind of stinks but I'm gonna put an end table right there I'm going to put a, a dresser over here. And then an armchair. I don't know. See what that does. And let's just unpause it and see how it goes. Speed it up. Okay. Now Eugene is cutting trees. He's not good at it. The slavers are still hanging around. I don't have enough money um, for what you you want. So let's see how everybody's doing. Um, Emmy is actually doing pretty good. She's greedy for an impressive bedroom. So we're working on that right now. She thinks that our barrack is awful, but that should go away because she got um, a new bedroom and she had her sleep disturbed. So her, t her two main negatives are actually going to go away. Weaves, um, yeah, okay, well, some of these we can't help. Uh, the outdoors thing, I... If I could just leave you on research permanently, Weave, so you could stay inside, I would totally do that. But I don't have enough people. And you're good at growing things. Um, so I don't know. Maybe I could build like an indoor hydroponic, you know, farm for you. Oh, let me uh, allow that item to be moved. But right now, can't do much. And then um, Eugene is uh, actually doing good eight without a table um i don't know why there's a chair for you you should be able to eat in this room right slept outside slept in the heat oh this counted as outside when he slept in this bedroom i get that okay well hopefully this will you know get somewhat better um this is 75 degrees outside it's 100 looks like the air conditioning is finally working Maybe because I filled this in, maybe because this was vented to an outside room, it was wasting the air conditioning. But now that everything is, like, all sealed up, look at this. It's 74. The whole place is getting cooled by this. 
And we do have a little bit of power left. I'll have to build another one of these at some point, especially if I want to build an air conditioner in this structure, which I do. So I, for example, um, let me go to architecture and then go into um, temperature and then build a cooler, right? Um, this is going to absolutely uh, annihilate my power consumption. So we might have to build another one of these guys. Um, build a copy. All of that slag might be blocking it, um, and I accept that. But I have the steel, and I have the components. So, let's do it. Fantastic. Okay, I stepped away for a moment, and... Looks like there's some tooltips that have loaded up, so you can see the exact calculations behind the accuracy of any shot. To do so, select the shooter, then rest the mouse over the target. The tooltip will show the chance to hit and a breakdown of the contribution of various two-hit chance multipliers. So this would be really helpful for the situation I found myself in before, where, um, <laughs> obviously... Uh, I failed to hit the target that was um, the predator. All right, Mark has learned. Friendly fire safety. Friendly fire never occurs if the shooter is close to their ally. For example, you can safely put a sword-wielding colonist directly in front of a gun-wielding one. The shooter will fire over his friend's shoulder. This is a good way to combine ranged and melee fighters. Okay, so as long as they're close, it works. Hmm, all right. Um, okay, so let me uh, unpause it. Mm hmm And Emmy is doing what? She's gonna build the floor here. These slavers are still hanging out. Um, I guess this guy wants to trade, and he's just chilling until we do so, but we're not going to really actually trade with him. Now, let's see. Weaves is healthy and doing that, and um, Eugene is doing that. So this is Eugene's bedroom, this is Emmy's room, and this is the hospital. And um, my buddy Fading was saying that I really don't need a hospital at this moment, so I'm not going to make it medical. I'm going to set the owner as um, Weaves. Okay, so this is Weaves, Emmy, and Eugene. They all have bedrooms now. So that means nobody is sleeping in this room, which should do better for their sleep quality, I'm hoping. And let's see. So they're patching this new bedroom experiment up. And here they go. Now, Emmy is, what, tending to the pet? Apparently... <laughs> I guess all these outdoor animals count as pets, and so this, somebody has either brought this duck in here, or um, it wandered its way in here. Uh-oh, it's unconscious. Does it have no food? Yeah, it's out of food. So she's feeding it, so hopefully this will get it back to health. Um, you know what, though? That's a good reminder. We're kind of probably running out of food for all of these animals. Um... And I want to put rice for them to eat, but I don't have very much. Uh, here's Dan, who is very dirty and is doing God knows what. Um, just kind of using our place as his personal... What's he doing in... So they just have free rain or whatever? I mean, are these people going to leave? Like, this guy's just sitting in... Eugene's bedroom. That's a little creepy. Yep, they're just inspecting. Okay. Animal starvation. Yep, these animals are starving. Okay, at least the trade caravan is leaving. Um, hungry pen animals. Select a pen marker and use the food tab to see more details. 
Grass-eating animals may need a larger pen to provide enough grass. Other animals may need to be supplied with hay grass or similar food using a stockpile. So I do have a stockpile, but I don't think any of this food is grown yet. So we have a problem with not enough rice growing, I guess, for all of our animals to eat. Um, t you know, it's interesting. It Because I don't know what I'm doing in the game, it seems to be that the... At first I was so excited to get ducks and camels and stuff, but it really tipped the scales against what I'm capable of providing. Now the rice field that the tutorial had me build is no longer large enough to provide enough food for our people or the animals. And so that's going to just have to be expanded. I could just release this animal to the wild. Like I don't I guess I don't need this many ducks, you know? Um, so let's just do that. And then I'm going to go to uh, zone. And I'm going to build this growing zone, you know, even larger. Like, we need more rice. Double. Expand growing zone 2 or create new growing zone. Um, I want to just say expand it. So how do I uh, make that happen? Um, no, this is a darn um expand zone of this one um did i do it no uh i don't think i did that right delete it okay here's an idea let me just go to this let me go to architecture um growing zone and uh create new growing zone um maybe that's not what i want to do right click on this um Zone, no. Assign, no. Hmm. All right, I definitely want to build a growing zone, right? And I want it to be like here. Expand growing zone two or create new growing zone. Oh, I see. No, 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 this is good. And I'm going to just say good. And then... Right click, and then this growing zone, um, I want to change the plant, um, but I don't want potatoes, I want rice. Do I have any other options? Maybe I don't have, oh, here we go. Um, well, hay grass would be good for the animals, uh, but we can't eat it, so rice would be better. Good, good. Okay, hopefully then they'll do that. I don't know if I have enough seeds for that, but maybe then what I should do is make a um, a new zone that's uh, just for hay grass, you know? Duck 1 has been returned to the wild. Great. All right, then this one is going to be for um, hay grass. And hopefully that'll do something good for us. Eugene is working on that. Interesting. All right. Need batteries, we do. Um, Eugene has a heat stroke. Get him to a cooler area. Why don't you uh, prioritize cleaning dirt? Just go in here, dude. Cool down. Is his temperature better? Let me look at his health. Um, heat stroke initial. Um, it's at 3.8%, so hopefully it's cooling down. And then she's eating. All right, that's good. Um, looks like he's harvesting berries, I guess, to clear this field. All right, so we're getting a bunch of berries. That's not bad. Emmy is doing something with this duck, putting it back in the pen after it's been nursed to health. Maybe she only brought it in here because it was ill, and it was like she was giving it bed rest or whatever or treating it as a patient or something. She's now meditating in her room, which is totally cool. Um, okay. And they're working on these fields. This is actually a lot of uh, chores for them to do. Oh, but he can make these berries into food. So that's great. That's I didn't think about that, but that's a cool thing to have happen. Okay, fantastic. Um, all right, I'm going to speed it up while they sleep. Eugene works, eats, and goes to sleep in his room. And I'm going to check on, you know... Uh, everybody. 
honestly, things are going better. Bedroom is bad. The sleep shouldn't be too disturbed anymore. Mood increasing. Rest increasing. Very good. All right, I'm going to um, pause it. I'm going to check out Eugene. How are you feeling, my friend? You're actually doing really well. Eight without table. Still, he's still on about that. That really has upset him. All right, let me slow it down. So I can kind of see what's going on. Close this window. And he's cooking. They're eating. Okay. He's gathering the eggs and he's going to cook. Oh, okay, great. Looks like he's now planting stuff. So hopefully our animals won't die. One day they will fill up these stockpiles also. Okay. This room is getting there. It's average sized. Okay, so it's good to know. A 5x5 five five room is average size. I mean, they must want these like cavernous chambers. It's pretty unbelievable. All right. Okay, the animals are eating the grass that's in there. This is almost like if I get rid of one more duck, I wonder if um No, this pen is so small that it can only hold one duck with the amount of grass that it's got. I would need to build, like, a giant um, space for them. This pen um, is also not even close to good enough. It's good enough for one yak, but not for the camels. So I'd need to make, like, a huge place for the camels. But we're going to try to grow food for them, and hopefully that'll boost things up. And she's over here, like, building this chair, which is way more difficult than I would have imagined, but it's being made, so that's that's good. Okay, and let's look at this. All right, this field is being planted. Yeah, I should have just had way more food. I mean, that's one of the first things you do in Dwarf Fortress is you just get food, food, food. You plant your mushrooms, get everything going. I should have been doing that, but... This is all just a crash course as I learn all of the, the functions. At least we're still alive. You know, knock on these highly flammable wood homes that we have. And, boy, this high-level construction stuff is really difficult. But you can see that she's actually gone up to level 6. And her experience is just um, flying up. She's a capable amateur. She's also an expert shot, so this really frustrates me even beyond belief that she missed so many times on that predator, but c'est la vie. I mean, you know, mistakes can be made. It's no big deal. It just cost Weaves an eye and nearly killed him, but things happen. All right. So let me see who's the most upset by their bedroom situation. She's greedy for an impressive bedroom, so let's give her this. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna set owner as, uh, Emmy. And, cool, okay, just as a heads up, I set her as the owner here, and she doesn't get two bedrooms. It immediately turned off this bedroom as hers. So, that's cool to know. Um, Weaves is getting a heat stroke, and so, can you prioritize, um, oh, he won't clean. Um, can you prioritize you can't prioritize research because it's a long term task interesting um, he needs to get inside because it's too hot out here and he won't clean um, well let's just prioritize like I can't make him prioritize recreation either uh Okay. Um, how about this, dude? Let me go to work, and... Hmm. I really don't want to... Oh, I know what I can do. Weaves, can you prioritize 
deconstructing the torch lamp, that would help. Just get inside and cool down. At the very least. And then eat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Eat your eat some food. Cool down. And I'm gonna look at your health. The heat stroke is is down, but it's kind of like going up again. Um I do need him to do the fields though. It's kind of important. All right, so now he's working. Now we, we're getting rice, and we might have animals that don't die. Let's see if we can feed them enough. Let's see how that goes. What's Weaves up to? He's praying. Oh, okay, good. Um, oh, quest active. Fur's Shack of Supplies. Interesting, so we got a quest. Fur, Prime Counselor of Easton de Hils Del Hister, has informed us of a collection of valuable items worth $545 not far from us. The collection consists of small slate sculpture and a pain stopper. Um, Fur says there may be an unknown threat there. Uh, where is it? Oh, it's over here. Interesting. So it's by the Big Knee Mountains, and this is us, right? Or am I? Or no, is this us? Where are we? Um... Well, now I don't even know where I am. That's embarrassing, but... Uh, so I see it. Okay. Interesting. I don't feel like venturing out right now, but that's cool that you can get quests and get, like, tips on information. And, Weaves, how are you doing heat stroke wise It's gone. It's cooled down. It's, it's only 98 degrees outside at nighttime. <laughs> Let me see how cool it is inside, though. Uh, 77, 83... 83. Interesting. Okay. Well, we're getting there. Now, this is actually considered outdoor. This is not a bedroom anymore because she's working on that. So, I might actually, uh, unfortunately, just reinstall Emmy as the owner of this bedroom so that she doesn't try to sleep out here because it wouldn't be good for her. Perfect. All right. So, we've got rice coming in. These fields are, like, starting to get worked. Hopefully we can, um, I can start to figure out what I want to prioritize and get some more food going. And I think this is a good place, everyone, to end the episode. We have built, like, you know, a trial bedroom, getting with the technology we have. We've expanded our growing operation. We met some slavers and uh, got our air conditioning working. So things are going well. I want to thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have an excellent evening or day. If you liked the video, please give it a like. It really helps the channel. And I will check you guys next time. Take care.